Welcome back everybody to PyBat YouTube. Today I want to talk about enums or enumerations. Imagine you have something similar in your code like this. So a bunch of constants, uh, but they really are related. So all these constants here are related to status. They even all start with status, right? And here I have a simple function that just gets a status um, ID or integer and then does a bunch of if checks, right? And then print something just to show how we can use those constants. So if I just call it with a fake user ID and status active, which is one, it should hit this uh, if statement. And if I call it with um, inactive, it hits the other if or the elif and then um, Pending is not really accounted for, so nothing will happen. Okay? But again, these constants are related, so let's group them into an enum. So enums um, are easy to define. They're basically um, just classes that inherit from enum. That's one way of defining them. You can also do it in this one-liner, which is also nice, but I usually opt for this as it's a bit more readable. So yeah, let's do that next. And right off the bat, we can already save some space by making these variable or constant names shorter because they all pertain to the status uh, enum object now. Uh, the only thing now to call it, um, this no longer works. Uh, so you would reference the item uh, like this. So status.pending and then here, of course, we need to update these as well. So to get values out of an enum, you do the name of the enum dot and then the name of the uh, constant. This now also changes because I'm going to type in this as status as the enum because we're effectively passing in the enum. Um, I will show you why as well, because if I put a breakpoint here, um, in a previous iteration, I actually was comparing integers. So I would pass status in as an integer. So status would be the integer three. However, we're comparing against an enum, right? So um, we need to make sure that the status passed in as well as the status is used here are of the same type for that to match. So um, pending is not accounted for in the if else statement, but active is and inactive is as well. And I'm doing this all in my before.py. Of course, I will copy this to an after.py. So in the GitHub, you will see the before and after code. Um, but yeah, uh, as you can see, the constant names became shorter, they became grouped or encapsulated in this enum object. And then every time we refer one of those, we have to do it through that enum uh, object, which is really nice. To If you ever need the label or the value separately, you can do that as well. So here's my status enum. Here's uh, one of the states. I think you can also see them all with members. Um, all right, and then um, status active, for example, that gives the uh, enum object. Right, that's the enum status object. And if ever you need to just get the label or the value, you can do so with a name, that's a label, and value. Right, so if you want to match against an integer, you can still do so. So then this would become um, so if you want to pass in an integer for some reason, you can also come. This will then fail, right? This is not going to give anything because that's what I was saying before. Or 
because status passed in is an integer, but status active is the enum, right? So if you want to um, compare it to the integer, uh, this should work. But it's probably better to just use enum everywhere because then it's you know better typed and then we use the enum to its fullest potential. Hope this is helpful. Um, another video in the refactoring series. If you like it, please give a like below and subscribe to the channel to not miss any future videos. And also use the comments below if you have ideas for future refactoring videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.